Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance tasks performed by small unmanned air vehicles in complex urban environments are only possible if safe collision-free flight is guaranteed. We propose a method for visual collision estimation that is a low-power, inexpensive, and passive solution that is suitable for implementation on a small UAV platform. This method can handle six degree of freedom motion and can be used in real time on current hardware. First, SIP features are extracted from each image of forward-looking video. These features are matched in the image sequence to provide sparse correspondences. Matching thresholds are lowered to allow for more correspondences to be found. As the camera moves towards an object, its expansion rate is proportional to the time to collision. Features expand outward from the focus of expansion, the point in an image from which all the expansion emanates during a collision event. Correspondence errors are common in unconstrained outdoor scenes, and thus effective methods of outlier rejection are necessary. Inertial measurements from a MEMS-grade IMU and Eagle Motion estimation from Bundle Adjustment and RANSAC are used for outlier rejection. This provides an estimate of epipolar geometry such that corresponding features are constrained to lie in epipolar lines. All features that have an orthogonal projection length greater than a threshold determined from bundle adjustment are regarded as outliers. Further outlier rejection is accomplished through a time to collision threshold. The time to collision of each sparse feature is computed by measuring its position and expansion rate relative to the focus of expansion. Correspondences with estimates not within a certain range are regarded as outliers. Uncertainty in the measurements is dominated by pixel quantization and epipole location errors. Handling of uncertainty is accomplished through the construction of a camera frame evidence grid. Grid cells define a time to collision state for which evidence is accumulated using measurements within the cell. Further outlier rejection is performed using measurement gating on each cell. Proof of concept experimentation was performed in a simulated urban environment. Seen here are SIFT feature points colored based on their estimated time to collision in seconds with the camera image plane. Features that are red are points in the environment that are dangerously close to collision, while features that are green are at a safe distance from the camera. Shown here is flight data from a small UAV equipped with a MEMS-grade IMU. The UAV is approaching the target at approximately 15 miles per hour, thus demonstrating proof of concept of this approach on real flight video and inertial data. 